I may be sick, but I'm still going out to a Comic-Con event today. Here we go. In the daytime, I'm Marinette. Just a normal girl with a normal life. But something about me nobody knows about, because I have a secret. Hey guys, Danger Debs. Um, I'm cosplay as Marinette. This is my first cosplay of 2019. I'm going to Comic Con event, my first Comic Con event of 2019 by the big Glasgow comic page in Red Glen. So that'd be fun. Um, I'm cosplaying as Marinette. If you don't know Marinette, Marinette's from the show a Ladybug. Sorry, Miraculous. <laughs> Everybody calls it Ladybug because that's who she really is. So yeah, I'm doing that. On the way, I'm not going to wear this wig. I'm going to take it off and fix my wig actually at the Comic Con event before I enter in and introduce you to some people. Yeah. So, see you at Red Glen. And yes, I did make this. There's going to be more attached to this in a minute because it's going to be Tiki! Your table for? So today we are here raising money for the Scottish Association for Mental Health. We have got a raffle that's a pound a strip or our latest one, test your BSP ability. Just like in the 1984 movie with Dr. Bacon. Why are you raising money for Sam? Well, the reason why we're raising money for Sam is a lot of our members do suffer from some form of mental health issue. I myself suffer from chronic anxiety complex. Now the thing is, a lot of people don't get the help that they might fully deserve. And Sam H are trying to make that happen for people. Eliminate the stigma that comes with mental health issues. As you raise money for charity, why do you dress up as Ghostbusters? Well, for us, Ghostbusters kind of helped us get over our mental health issues. And all we can say is the kids love Ghostbusters. <laughs> it's just so fun to do it, and it helps me as well overcome my anxiety complex. I see you got a few props from the Ghostbuster movie. Can you show us? <laughs> yes, of course. So if you come over here and have a look, we have got a few props. Here is the Ecto goggles from the movies. People might recognize them. We've also got some props from other things such as cartoons and comic books such as this one here. And everybody all knows about the PKE meter. Yep, scans for ghosts. That's correct, yes. Should we check? And we've got Jamie here who's the latest in Ghostbusters technology. Yes, the latest in technology. That's what's in your suitcase. Thanks, Jamie. Thanks, Robert. Thank you. One, go. Oh my god. Scan this. Uh oh. <laughs> That's something. Yeah, we never done something here. Yeah. Kaylee, what did you get? 
Um, let's have a look in her mystery box. Ooh, there's bubble wrap in here. Mm -hmm. So something's been. Don't put the bubble wrap. Right. Is that a wand? Yes, it's a wand. Ooh. I think this is uh, Bellatrix Lestrange. Need your black hair for that. I might actually have to cosplay her at some point. Oh, 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 Bellatrix. Is that it or is there more? Oh no, there's more in here. There is more in Funny. here. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Tom Marvolo. Is this all Harry Potter themed or something? Oh yes. Okay. This cauldron is one of, if not the best stall you could ever go to at these conventions for Harry Potter stuff. Honestly, swear. One of, if not the best. And... <laughs> it's a Ravenclaw beanie! Are you actually a Ravenclaw? No, I'm a, I am a, a Hufflepuff. But I'm sure I can find someone to give a Ravenclaw one to. Happy birthday if you get it. <laughs> Happy birthday if they get it. Yes. <laughs> Or I might just give it to them. And ooh, we have some Lego in here too. We have... Now that does not look like it's Lord of the Rings. That, um, I love it. That looks like it's Lord of the Rings. Would you say that was Lord of the Rings, Paul? I would say so, yes. yes. It's quite ooh. medieval. I like that. And what's in the green one? We have got Harry with his broom. <laughs> and we have got Ron looking really, really freaked out. <laughs> so that, is, that it? is everything. Thank you very much, Alchemist Cauldron. What did you get? I got a vintage Ghostbuster oh, projector. Oh, yeah. Ooh, so would you catch ghosts with it? I don't know, we might be able to. Once we get it working. That is going up on my wall. I see it. That is brilliant. <laughs> that is my brilliant. childhood. Did you used to have it in your bedroom I or something? I did actually, yes. Oh. I saw my wall as a kid. <laughs> Best thing about cosplaying, going back to your childhood. Exactly. <laughs> now, in second place, the judges have decided they would like to give the silver prize to the Joker. Woo! Go serious. A pile of swag you didn't even have to steal. <laughs> First place. The judges would like to give the gold medal to bum, bum, bum. the Drogar Death Lord! very fitting in with the... <laughs> Your sidekick! <laughs> <laughs> That's me heading back home. Sorry to the person who was going to join me on the train. She was in a fairy suit. I'm so sorry. The train left before you, you could get on the train. You'll get a ticket time. I'm so sorry. I'll see you at the next call. So that's me back from the big Glasgow Com page event in Red Glen. I was helping the Ghostbuster raising money for Sam H. It was really good. Got to see the end of cosplay competition. Got to meet some new cosplayers. Bumped into Cherry Bomb cosplayer who's Stuart. Briefly got to talk to him. And I just had a good time meeting some furries. Sorry I left that furry on the train station. I'm really sorry. Train left. At the Comic Con event, I got Stitch. This is rare. It was the last one, so I had to get it. I wouldn't see anywhere else, so I got it. Only fiver, you know, Stitch figure, three pounds. With the stuff, five pounds. It's been a good day. I'll be at other big Glasgow Com page events with the Ghostbusters, raising money for charity. This year is Sam H. Sam H is Scottish Association Mental Health. We're raising mental health awareness so people know, like, what is mental health, people do go through it. You don't just have to stay at home, we can talk about it and work it through.
Yeah, I'm watching Miraculous. I was cosplaying as Ladybug, so why not watch it? If you don't know the show, Miraculous is about two people. One is Cat Noir, he likes Ladybug. Ladybug is Marinette. Marinette's in love with Adrian. And they don't know they fight together as superheroes. They won't tell each other's disguises. Please tell each other's disguises so you can tell each other you love each other and be such a cute hero couple and a cute couple in school. Tell each other you love each other! Come on! I'm on series three right now. Netflix only has series one. Other countries have just started watching it. You can watch it in French, English, or other languages. I don't care what language I watch it in because it's basically the same routine all the time. You see them in school, something happens to a person, they get evilized by Hawkmoth, who's the evil person, and Ladybug has Marinette has transformed into Ladybug, Adrian transforms into Cat Noir separately, come together, they fight that person, and just hopefully get rid of the bad guy with her miraculous <laughs> Yeah. Like it. I really cannot wait until they tell each other they love each other and tell each other's disguises. I cannot wait for the bit where Hawk Moth and Cat Noir come together and fight off in say Cat Noir, I am your father. Oh let's leave it the other way. Dad, stop this! Why are you calling me dad? Because I am your son, Adrian. What? Yeah, Hawk Moth is Adrian's dad. Sorry I told you. Sorry if you didn't know, but that is so creepy. It's like Dorothy are telling Luke, I am your father. I cannot wait until they reveal their art father and son. Will it work out? Will Adrian stay in this big huge mansion? And now I'm gonna play Lego Marvel. I love Lego games. My first Lego game was on the PS2 to play Star Wars 1 to 3. Then playing Star Wars 4 to 6, still on the PS2. Then the Wii came out and I got Pirates Caribbean. Check out the message later. That was really hard. Indiana Jones also, that takes forever to load. And then Harry Potter 1 to 4 and Harry Potter 4 to 6. Then I met my boyfriend who has a PC. He downloaded Harry Potter 1 to 4 and downloaded Harry Potter 4 to 6. The controllers are so different. It's weird. And if you play Harry Potter 1 to 4 on the PC, then change Harry Potter from 4 to 8. They changed the controls. Like this is supposed to be this, but it's changed to this button. Don't like that. It's even worse on the DS. Never play Lego game on the DS. It is hard and you can't really see what you want to see. It is so much better on the Wii. But you know, we don't make Wii games anymore, so just, you know, get a PS4 and play Lego games. That's the way I'm doing it. So let's play this game Lego Marvel. My favorite character is Spider Man. <laughs> My boyfriend's playing Spider Man on the PS4. And that's the only way you can play Spider Man on the PS4. But if you get a Lego game and you have any console, you can play Lego! Let's do this. Deadpool is in the X-Men building! Oh my gosh! Deadpool is in the X-Men building. That's where he should be. I think I need to go and save him. Thanks for watching guys. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below if you're gonna make Cap Sci-Fi or give this video a thumbs up if you loved it and subscribe to me. Danger Depths. And remember, it's the memories who make us. School there makes some good ones and not some bad ones.